Now let's bring Dr. Emily Landon back. Dr. Landon, we've been talking about myths and it seems there's quite a bit of people concerned that the COVID-19 vaccine will alter our DNA. Yeah, that's just not possible. The vaccine itself and the virus have only what's called RNA in it, which is different than DNA. And because it doesn't have a reverse transcriptase like we would see in an HIV, you just can't get it back into our DNA. Um, there's a very complicated discussion and you can Google it online, but I promise you there's just no way to get this virus into our DNA. Dr. Leonard, well, we've heard about a wide range of short-term side effects. Most of us that I know of have, have, have at least felt some of those when we've get, been vaccinated. How do I know when to take those short-term side effects more seriously if I get them? That's a great question. I had some short-term side effects too, and they really are just the effect of your immune system practicing fighting off COVID. And they're exactly what you're looking for. So if you're having symptoms between 24 and 72 hours after you get your shot, they should start sometime in that time frame, and they should end about 24 to 48 hours after they start. If they're lingering beyond that, then it's time to contact your doctor. Certainly we have seen some people get COVID between their first and second shots or right after their second shot. Sometimes people aren't as careful as they need to be between the first and second shot. You really do need to wait until you're two weeks after the second dose. All right, thank you, Dr. Landon.